Okay, hello bookish friends and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the very first in a series where I'm going to choose my TBR from my TBR jar. So this is obviously January's TBR. I was just saying in my reset video, which you will see this upcoming Saturday, that I am terrible when it comes to like reading the books that I have on my TBR. Like, instead of reading the books that have been on my TBR for God knows how long at this point, I'm reading the new books that I put here that I recently purchased. So we're going to take all these down, except for a couple. Like there's two books up here that I really want to read this month. And there's a book that I'm currently reading that are going to stay up here. But we're going to pick five or six prompts from my new little TBR jar. There's a bunch in here. And we're going to see what books we're going to grab. I'm going to try as hard as I can to reach for some books that have been on my shelves for way too long. So let's talk about the books that I want to keep in my TBR from last month. I'm currently reading Iron Flame. This is just the dust jacket because I don't like reading with the dust jacket on. I'm currently reading this. I'm about 35 pages in really loving it so this is one that I will definitely be finishing in the month of January another book that I want to keep on my TBR is the book club hotel by Sarah Morgan I searched high and low for this book back in December which you would have seen maybe in a reading vlog or vlogmas I don't even know at this point the month of December is a blur so I want to leave this on the TBR for January one other book that I want to leave dead of winter by Darcy Coates I do want to read this and it's a horror book bookshops and bonus I would love to keep, I would love to keep the rest of these on here but I just I can't. These are all relatively new purchases, so I need to be better about it, but let's take these all off first. I am doing a reorganization of this room because I got a new bookshelf for Christmas, but you will see that in the reset video, which will be going up Saturday. Do you want to see me completely redo this room? Not completely. Let's, let's not make false assumptions, but if you want to see me kind of revamp this room a little bit, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified when that video goes up and you can watch it right away. Let's also take these down. These are the books that I read. Oops, I'm not done with that one yet. These are the books that I have read in the month of December, so these can go. And I am currently reading Ice Planet Barbarians. I have like another 60% of the audiobook to do, so this will just go right back there. Obviously, we got the first two books, which are Book Club Hotel and Dead of Winter and Iron Flame. I'm like low-key nervous to see what this TBR jar is gonna spit out for me. So let's go ahead and pick our first prompt. Let's do this one. Young Adult. Hmm. Oh, I know what I could do. I think Divine Rivals is young adult, right? I'm pretty sure this is a young adult book. Let me let me check. So we're gonna go with Divine Rivals for the young adult prompt because this has been on my TBR for way too long. And I just received the second book as a pre-order, so we're gonna go with Divine Rivals for Young Adult. All right, let's see what we're gonna get for prompt number two. So I already have four books up here, three of which were not a prompt. So let's do five prompts. And that will give us eight books for the month. And I can try to see if I can get them on audio. We already did a white one. Let's try to get a different color. Let's do this one. I'm nervous. A Frida McFadden. Okay, I can do that. I have two Frida McFadden books. I have Ward D, which I bought this one myself. And then I also have Never Lie, which my sister gave me this and told me it was amazing. But let's do this one that my sister gave me because after reading the description, it's about a couple looking for a new house. It was owned by a psychiatrist who just vanished without a trace four years earlier. And it has to do with a winter storm. And obviously, I live in upstate New York. It's January. We're in winter months. So that... I mean, that's gonna freak me out, but it's fine. We'll put that next to Darcy Coates because Darcy Coates is also a freaking horror author. And that also takes place in the winter. So we're gonna do Never Lie by Frida McFadden. That was two. We're gonna do three more. First book in a popular series. Oh God. Hmm. I know what I can do. Let me go grab some options. So immediately my brain is thinking Thursday Murder Club because that's a really popular series and I have all four books. And I tried to listen to the audiobook for the Thursday Murder Club and just could not get into it. So that's what my mind is immediately going to. Like then I'm thinking, okay, I could do Throne of Glass, but I don't want to do any type of Throne of Glass books until I read Crescent City, which I could put Crescent City, but I'm trying to get books off my TBR that have been on there for a while. So let me go do some digging and see what I can find. Okay, I grabbed three different options. We're gonna see which one. The first one I obviously thought of was the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Oseman. This is like a cozy mystery, I think, where it's funny and it's like people in a retirement home are trying to solve these cold cases. So 
that could be fun. The other one I'm thinking is Every Heart a Doorway by Shawna McGuire. This is like a little novella. I might put this on it anyways with one of these books. And then the other one I grabbed is Indigo Ridge by Daphne Perry. This is like a really popular romance. I think it's a romance. I don't know. It says, as clues to the murderer lead to one of Quincy's own. Oh, so it's a murderer thing. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Indigo Ridge and Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire. Every Heart of Doorway is obviously really short. I could probably finish that really quickly. And then Indigo Ridge I've had longer than I've had the Thursday Murder Club. For the, what was my, what was the prompt? For the first book in a popular series, we're gonna go with Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire and Indigo Ridge by Debbie Perry. All right, we got two more. I hope I get something like really good. Let's see, number three. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> it's a big book, which is 400 plus pages. Damn! So immediately, my mind is going to the book that I just took down, which is One is Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. That could be an option. Oh my lord. Let me go see what else I can find. Okay, honestly, I don't really have that many books that are over 400 pages. So I had a couple options. Two being Karen Slaughter. I got both of these books at a library sale. This is The Last Widow and The Silent Wife. These were both over 400 pages. And then obviously I had Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare, but that's a relatively new book to me. Or or I could do Inkblood Sister Scribe by Emma Tors. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it. This one's probably been on my TBR longer than both of those, I think. I'm trying to also get a diversity of different things. Half Sisters, Guarding Family's Library of Magical Books, Work Together to Unravel a Deadly Secret. Let's do this one. Sorry, all over the place. This is Inkblood Sister Scribe. And this is the book I'm gonna choose for the 400 plus pages. This one is like just over 400. I'm pretty sure it's like 403. But we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna put the other two back. Just because I've had Inkblood to subscribe longer. And one of my goals for 2024 is to really read through all my book of the month books because I have so many. It's ridiculous. And I haven't read like as many of them as I should, so. All right, one more. Let's see. Get a green one, let's do this one. Damn, wow, the universe really wants me to read the Thursday Murder Club. This one literally just says Thursday Murder Club, so I guess we're reading that. What a crazy turn of event. So the prompt I picked was literally just the Thursday Murder Club, and obviously the universe really wants me to read that. It's because I was just thinking about that one. So, so now we have nine books on my TBR, and that's gonna bother me that it's an odd number. Let's choose one more. <laughs> Hopefully I can get the audiobook for one of these or something. Let's do a blue one. Let's do this one. This one's calling to me. Oh, please be something good. Let's see. Oh, so this one says a book with blood on the cover. When I wrote this prompt, I was specifically thinking of this book, which is All the Blood We Share. But there's not actually blood on the cover. It just says blood. Also thinking The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I could do that. So these two are really my only two options. All the Blood We Share and The Weight of Blood. And you know what? I'm gonna take myself word for word. Oh shit, my battery's about to die. So I'm gonna choose the weight of blood because not only does it say blood, there is also blood on the cover. And if I, I've heard that this is amazing, so that is the one we are gonna go with. Okay, this is a terrible angle. Okay, so now that we have our TBR for the month of January set, let's briefly go over it. The book club hotel by Sarah Morgan was a follow over from December. Never Lie was the one I chose for the Frida McFadden prompt. Dead of Winter by Darcy Coates was also a follow over from December. Both Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire and Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry were for the first book in a popular series. Iron Flame also is a carryover from December, which is my current read. Divine Rivals was my pick for the Young Adult prompt. Ink Blood Sister Scribe was my pick for the 400 plus page book prompt. Since the universe so badly wanted me to read the Thursday Murder Club, I was debating on this one for the, the first book in a popular series, but I ended up picking a prompt that was specifically for this book. So we were doing the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Oakman. The last prompt I picked was the one that said a book with blood on the cover and we are doing The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. So this is our TBR for the month of January. I'm pretty pumped. I got a good variety of books in here. Like I have like a contemporary fiction, some thriller slash horror. I guess a thriller, mystery, romance, murder, a little novella. 
uh, some fantasy in here and then another like cozy mystery in a YA horror. So I think that's a pretty good first TBR for the new year and I'm pretty pumped about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these prompts. I don't know if I'm gonna put them back in, but obviously like the Thursday Murder Club, well, if I don't read it this month, then I have to put it back in. But I think I'm gonna put these in a separate location until the end of the month, because if I don't end up reading the book, I'm gonna put the prompt back in. And if I do read the book, I'm gonna, well, then I'm gonna put the prompt back in regardless at the end of the month. I don't know why I'm rambling. This is my TBR for the month of January. I am so excited to start a new fresh reading year. My reading goal for this year is to read 100 books. I finished 2023 reading 104 books, so I think 100 is pretty attainable for me, especially since I drive a lot for work and can crush some audiobooks. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos in the comments below, and in the comments below, leave me some other TBR jar prompts that you want me to throw in. I'm going to be adding them throughout the year, so Whenever I post these TBR videos, make sure to leave me some prompts in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you in my next one. I almost made it through this entire video without Louie barking, but I'll see you in my next one. Bye.